السلام علیکم عزب اللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم جو سٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو لیکچر ٹوینٹی نائن ٹوڈے وی ویل ٹاک اباؤٹ لا آف پریارٹی سینونیمز اینڈ لا آف سینونیمی لیکچر آؤٹ لائن وی ویل ڈسکس لا آف پریارٹی what is the first revisor principle we will talk about synonymy and synonyms rate of synonymy significance of synonymy types of synonyms lecture outcomes so after watching and listening to this lecture student will know about law of priority what is first revisor principle synonymy and synonym rate of synonymy significance of synonymy and types of synonyms law of priority law of priority covers the period from january 1st 1758 to the present it means that in the code law of priority started or placed at 1st january 1758 and onward to present it has basis its basis are in article 25 of the code if you visit the zoological nomenclature code the book i told you about you will find this law under article 25 of the rules which were amended in paris in 1948 its essential provisions are that the valid name of a genus or a species can only be that name under which it was first designated mean this law states they the valid name of the genus or of the species will be that name which was first designated but on certain conditions and what are those conditions so number 1 date prior to the january 1st 1931 this name was published and accompanied by an indication on the definition on a definition or a description and in the case of generic or subgeneric name that the genus or sub genus was was monotypic so this is the first condition then comes the second one that the author has applied the principles of binomial nomenclature mean at the time of the naming of that this taxon the principles or the rules of binomial nomenclature were fully applied third there is no generic or specific tribal name published after december 31st 1931 have any status of validity and availability under the rules until and unless it is published either with the statement in words indicating the characters of the genus species or subspecies concerned b in case of name proposed as a substitute for a name invalid by reason being homonym with reference to the name which is thereby replaced or that even if a name satisfies all the requirements as specified as specified above is this is not a this is a specified above the name is not a valid name if it is rejected under the law of homonymy so if all the above statements are satisfied but still if the, the, this name was not valid because it was rejected under the law of homonymy so it will not be accepted 
then what is the first divisor principle and this is very important in law of priority first divisor is a person and first divisor principle is a law is a rule of the court the first divisor principle is very helpful uh, where it is helpful it is helpful in stabilizing nomenclature stabilization of the nomenclature is very important and we talked about its importance in the previous lecture when two or more than two names are published simultaneously by different scientists and the date is the same the, before this we discussed different conditions names were published either similar names for one taxon or similar name for different taxon so there was law of priority like the one which is published and designated first will be considered the valid one but now here the case is different because the date of the publication is the same they were published simultaneously so what will happen for example one scientist published a name for certain species as a and the other scientist published is name b now what we will do so similarly when a new name is spelled in more than one way in the original publication so what happens an authorized person will analyze and will select the one which is better known as prior than the other mean now first revisor who is a person and he has the power and he has the full power of deciding that what will what name will be the valid either a will be valid or either b will be valid it will be actually decided by this first revisor under the first revisor principle and he has full authority he can choose a or he can choose b this is according to the rules of zoological code so he will pick the best one the better known or the prior one than the other and he has full authority by doing so so this person who will select the valid name is known as first revisor and the process is called first revisor principle now uh, uh, let's talk about the synonyms and synonym definition now two or more different names for the same taxon are called synonyms now uh, for example for example uh, there are two or more different names for the same taxon for example we have this taxon uh, like z this is a bird now this z bird it was named like a uh, two or different or three or four names by different scientists for example this z was named differently by different scientists for example muhammad sajjad anis and abdullah Muhammad Muhammad named this species or this taxon as a Sajjad named this species as b Abdullah named this species 
AC and Anis named this species as D. Now the taxon is one, the taxon is single, but this taxon has more than two names. One, two, three, four different names. So two or more different names for the same taxon. So this Z has been named A, B, C, D differently by different scientists. So what will happen now? While a chronological list of the scientific names applied to a given taxon with the dates of publication and the authors of the name as called synonymy. Now, if I like make a list of this uh, synonyms, for example, if I write this Z bird and then if I write Muhammad, the name, the date when it was like uh, first named, then second Sajjad and the name be given by him, what was the date? So when I make this list, so this chronological, chronological mean the, the date wise list in a chronological order and all the scientific names with the date of location and the name of the author is called synonym. So synonyms are actually these uh, different names for, for this single taxon and the list of this with publications and authors and names is actually synonymy known as synonymy. No explanation? So, synonymy is most usefully used with the following sequence of data. Scientific names in its original form, author's name, date of publication and reference, type and locality and present location of the type. It is optional but you can like uh, write it down like what is the present location of this type. So when there are a number of synonyms in a name, the selection of the proper name applicable to the taxon is done through law of priority. That is, as I told you, Z was a bird. It was named differently by Muhammad and different A by Muhammad and B by Sajjad and C by Abdullah and D by Anis. So what will have what what we will do? Like for example, again, the Z bird. It was named by Muhammad. Is A, and if the date is uh, like he named it in uh, seventeen. Seventy. And for example, Sajjad named it B and 1790. For example, Abdullah named it C in 1805. this is the chronological order and it means it, this is known as synonymy and by Anis is D and he named it in 18 0 7 now now look which one is the oldest and it's clear the oldest one is this one 1770 so Muhammad named it uh, a in 1770, Sajjad named it B in 1790 and Abdullah named it C in 1805 and Anis named it D in 1807. So the oldest available name is the valid name. According to the law of priority, the oldest available name is the valid name and this is called senior homonym. So now this one given by Muhammad 
is actually the senior homonym. This is the senior homonym. And while the rest are all, all of them, all these names, all these names, there's three. It, these may be two, one, five, six, seven, ten. The number doesn't doesn't mean anything. These all are actually the junior homonyms. So all these are junior homonyms, and these are n. So all of these these are n. Only this one will be selected, and this is the correct one because this is the senior homonym. So the uh, uh, sorry, the senior synonym. So the senior homonym uh, will be selected, and all of the others will be rejected. Now rate of synonymy. So rate of synonymy differ from group to group. In, in some groups, uh, synonymy rate is high, and some uh, groups the synonymy rate is like minimum. It can even exceed up to 50% in a group. Uh, so Solo et al. in 1995 have given a good account to estimate the rate of synonymy through statistical models. Now significance of synonymy. Synonymy is uh, of great uh, significance uh, because it provides considerable amount of information available in the literature under one or more of these names. So the presentation of a synonymy is a key to the information contained in the taxon. Then uh, uh, types of synonymy. So there are like two types of synonymy. The one is known as subjective synonymy and the other one is known as objective synonymy. Uh, subjective synonymy. So those names which are based on opinions, so opinions and are not absolute, these are not absolute are called subjective synonyms or you can call them taxonomist synonym, synonymy, conditional synonymy or you can say zoological synonymy. And then there are objective synonymy. So th these are those names which are based upon same type and are clearly proposed for the same thing are called objective synonymy. And these are also called as nomenclature synonyms or the synonymy, obligate synonymy or absolute synonymy. Such synonyms are all, always absolute and it can never be separated by any means. Thank you so much for watching and listening. If you have any question, please ask.